Hey, this is Jay. Happy Zer Day. Happy Friday. How in the world are you guys doing? Zer is at the tower. He's over here on this right hand side. As we're heading back here, I want you to make sure that you stay tuned to the end of this video because I'm going to be showing off some of the new exotics from the Taken King that were announced on Instagram. So I'll talk about what they have perk wise as well. So stay tuned for that. But before we get into that, let's check out what Zer has. I'm hoping for an icebreaker. No. All right. Well, looks like the Peregrine Greaves are up first. Um, for the Titan, let me get on those. Oh, this is all intellect 140, not too bad of a stat roll. Max is 160. Carry more ammo for heavy weapons and shoulder charge deals bonus damage while activated in the air. So I never use these things. If you're short on coins, I'd hold back. Um, not the greatest thing to use. But Crest of Alpha Loopy, this is a, all for a hunter class. It's strength 147. Uh, max is 181, so not the greatest stat roll. Revive teammates faster, spawn more orbs, carry more ammo, special weapons, and hand cannons. So this is really good if you are a 3v three pvp player if you play that game mode those game modes definitely pick that up but the apotheosis fail this is all um, discipline 109 which isn't the excuse me which isn't the greatest you get max 136 but melee hits replenish grenade energy replenish health and activating your sooner super regenerates health so not the greatest thing to pick up as well uh, if you're a pve player you might want to pick that up but if not you might want to just skip that but plan c all right this is, has a hip fire bonus, reduces charge time, improved range and accuracy. This weapon has extremely low recoil. And then the finest one, charging equip times are very short immediately after weapon swap. So this thing is really good in PVE and PVP. If you don't have it, definitely pick it up. And then we've got, um, what do we have here? Uh, your arm gauntlets and then of course the typical things here but i'm going to switch over you can check out what these things are and i'm going to switch over so stay tuned let me get that on there and i'll show you the new exotics all right so here are the six new exotics that bungie showed us i'm going to go through each one of them and tell you about the perks that they have i also have some links to some previous videos that i did this week the exotic hunt number six that's where i do two nightfalls with my son and show you what things that he gets for him the rewards for it he's trying to collect all the exotics before ttk drops and i kind of show which ones he has and which ones he needs and then i also did the nightfall solo ran that against omnigal you can check that one out and i also have been playing the black ops 3 beta and it gave my first impression impressions after playing that beta for a day so if you click on any of those they will open up in a new window but let's get into these exotics all right so first up we've got the imperium bellicose this is a titan helmet and this thing says aiming your weapons while in the air will hold you in place for a short time so that sounds like the angel of light perk from the sun singers have but also orbs collected when your super is full will recharge your melee ability. So that's kind of interesting. Then we've got the chaperone. This is a shotgun that fires a single slug. Now it also grants you an agility boost. Sounds like it gives you the lightweight perk that plus two agility. But here's a really cool thing. Your precision kills will grant a brief increase to handling, range, rate of fire, and stability. That sounds crazy, especially for PVP. This could be a go-to gun in PVP. Then we've got the Alchemist Raiment though. This is a Warlock chest piece. It's got a really weird thing. It says collecting primary ammo will give you a chance to gain glimmer. I don't know where they got that from, but then orbs collected when your super is full recharges your grenades and melee at the same time. So that's really nice. Then we've got the Telestial. Telesto, this is a fusion rifle that attaches projectiles to your foe and detonates with a delayed void, bass, so void blast. So that sounds like the Needler from Halo if you played that. But check this out, multi-kills with this weapon will drop orbs for your allies. That sounds really interesting and I'm, I'm wondering how that's going to play out. Then we've got the Sealed Ahamkara Grass. This is for hunters and these things provide an additional melee charge and your melee damage also has a chance to reload your primary weapon, which not very crazy about that last part, but that first part though, I'm wondering if it's gonna stack with the Gunslinger's Gambler's Dagger, the one that gives you the extra throwing knife. Are we gonna get three throwing knives? I doubt it, but that would be really interesting. But last but not least, we have the Sleeper Simulant. This is a heavy fusion rifle. That means it's gonna be equipped in the heavy spot. So that's gonna be a new weapon type. That sounds really interesting. But this weapon is supposedly supposed to tear through enemies and ricochet on her hard surfaces so new weapon type i like that pierces through enemies and bounces off walls that could be really interesting but we'll have to wait 
and see. But those are the six new exotics that Bungie showed us. Let me know if you're interested in any of those. Make sure you check out my previous videos. But guys, that's where I'm gonna end it. As always, take care and God bless.